What's up, YouTube? We're back, and it's your boy, Mad Stacker. I'm super excited to unleash this dragon. Hey guys, welcome back. I know what you're thinking. He's got some more silver dragon stuff. And you're right, I do. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about a coin that, I'm sorry, a round that I ordered quite a while back. Actually on August 29th is when I ordered it. Um, silver Husky had brought it up on a live stream and suggested uh, getting this, this round. And I am a huge fan of the Germanium Mint and had not purchased anything from them before. But they have um, an allegory series that I really like. And they also have another, um, I don't know what the name of the series is. I, and I could have them mixed up. They have one that has like different uh, like branches or trees. And they have another one that's got like Lady Britannia and Germania and different things like that. So that's two different series that I have on my list um, from the Germania Mint that I have not even gotten close to starting to pull the trigger on yet. But they started a uh, series called Germania Beasts. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting the Beasts of the North with uh, the Canadian Mint. And while the Queen's Beast just wrapped up their final release with the, the Greyhound, um, I plan to one day try to get a hold of those as well. Uh, just not something I can, can handle doing right now, but at some point I'll, I'll come across the right deal and, and start to get those as well. So, um, but today I'm super excited about this coin. Uh, as many of you have heard, uh, it was the Fafnir coin that was released and I got mine from Bold Precious Metals. And I didn't realize it at the time, but I'd totally forgotten about it after I ordered it. And then it dawned on me that it never came in. And then I thought, huh, maybe I ordered wrong. Because I've ordered something before and then maybe didn't close it out all the way. Uh, so when, I'm, when, when I go back to look and see why it never came in, then I realize, hey, you never ordered it right, goofball. So um, on this particular... One, what happened was they, it was a pre-order and I just didn't notice it. So I was ordering it on a pre-order and they didn't ship them until I think just the beginning of this week or the end of last week. So uh, let's get into this. And I also ordered a little bonus, um, which you guys will get to see as well. So I'm going to try to remember, you know, I'm going to stop. Because I know you're still here because I haven't shown you what was inside here yet. And when you don't see what's inside here, that means I still have your attention. So if you'll do me a huge favor and go hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I release new videos. I do a lot of them in premieres. Would love to see you in one of my premieres to say hello, chat, have a good time. And if you want somebody else to see these awesome coins and rounds that I'm about to open, share the video. Send it to somebody you know that loves dragons. Send it to somebody you know that loves this other thing that I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. <laughs> I love I love doing that. Little surprise. Obviously, I kind of gave a hint and had to let you know that I was opening up the Fafnir. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to explain anything about it. But the other one, I've been able to keep close to the vest so you're gonna have to wait to see about that one let's see I'm gonna have to cut that some more in now yes yes I am I don't want to mess any of these papers up so let's see what that is first Oh, wow. It's about the coin. Or the round, I'm sorry. It tells you the uh, the specs. That is cool. Face value, 5 mark. 2020. Metal, 999. 49 is fine, AG. 
38.61, one ounce, grade BU. Germania Beast, Fafnir. This is really cool. So, it says that the face value is five mark. And I think I may have heard somebody else mention that before. But I'm pretty sure that, that it's not really a mark. That's just a... Just like a symbolic type thing. So this really is considered a round. And they may call it something else. But um, I also believe that a mint calling something other than a coin. Anything other than a round. Whether they call it a metal or a sphere. Or whatever name they can come up with. It's still classified as a round. Um, a mint calling something other than a coin. Anything other than a round does not create a new classification in my eyes so I'm gonna see if I can get this without showing you the other one there's one nope. all right so let's get this one out all right uh, let's put this one back in there just for a second and we'll set that there oh wow that is even prettier in person than it was online. Wow. That is too cool. So, give me a second. I'll give you some more information. Fafnir. Oh, I want to open this so bad. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. Y'all stop yelling at me. Stop screaming at the screen. I'm not going to open it. But man, I sure want to touch it. If this one's easy, maybe I could get in there. Don't be mad at me. Y'all don't be mad at me. I'm not touching it. I'm just holding it close. I'm doing this for you guys so you can see it better. See? Isn't that pretty? Alright. Let's... Wow. Alright. I didn't touch it. No grubby fingers. Although I did just wash my hands. Man, that's a good looking piece so this actually they they build a double um a double case thing here that you can have these in and if i'm not mistaken it goes this way so yep just like that so as you can see the coins connect um from the obverse to the reverse so the obverse is obviously the head of the dragon. And just a little bit of information about um, this particular coin. Uh, the obverse is Fafnir's head and, and upper body, kind of the underbelly there, if you will. And then the other half is the tail spinning around the Germanium mint seal. And they made 25,000 of these. And I've got two of them, so a very small percentage. But this coin is going to definitely increase in value and I will show you what I paid for it which was uh, 44.09 each for a total of 88.18 and then of course I will show you the price of the other one here in just a second but that one was 42.27 as you saw on the sheet there so I am really stoked about this I cannot wait to show this to my son he is in the other room in class right now, but I think he's going to dig this. However, he is not going to dig it as much as this next one. And this next one is going to be designated uh, to him as... Uh, it's going to be part of my stack, but it's going to be a coin that's going to go to him for sure. Now, I don't know if that's now. I don't know if that's when I'm gone, but it will be designated for him. And that is in memory of the Black Panther. May he rest in peace. And I don't know if it was this exact day, but this was the day I heard about it. It might have been the day after. And I was jumped on to order that Fafnir coin. And of course, I wanted free shipping. I'm that guy. I will buy an extra coin to get free shipping. So I jumped on and saw that they had this and the price hadn't gone up yet. So I jumped all over it for $42.27. And it came in a case, which same as the other ones, which I think is awesome. 
So this is actually a 2017 coin. It's the third one in the Marvel series. And it is by Tuvalu. Tuvalu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that exactly right. But um, uh, Tuvalu makes some awesome coins. It is a $1 denomination. And of course that is in IRB there. Which is Ian Rank Broadly. She did the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II there. This is a four nines fine as well. Man, that is just a good frosting there. And look at the cameo on the queen. That's a great looking coin. Good frosting and cameo here too. So, of course, you got the Marvel trademark there. Um, and this is the Black Panther. This is the third release. First they did Spider-Man and then Thor. And then they did this one, uh, number three. Oh, this is 2018. Why did I think it was 20? Oh, the Spider-Man and Thor came out in 2017. This one came out in 2018. And I'll, this will, I'm not going to buy just one of a series. So I will get the rest of these at some point and be able to tell you what the rest of them are. I did not look up to see which ones I was missing. I just looked up to see which ones came before. So this really is a super, super nice coin. Man, it just looks good. So Marvel first showed up. Marvel. So Black Panther first showed up in Marvel Comics in 1966. Of course, you all know Stan Lee and then the other guy, I can't remember his name, um, that, that started this stuff. Uh, but 1966, he's been around since 1966. That is a long time. So that, as well as these, are going to go in my stack. And you know, once they go in my stack, they never go back. Boom. Some good looking pickups today, y'all. Loving that big time. All right, so I will set those there. And I will let you guys know that my total ounces is now at 221.3849972 ounces. And my average cost per ounce is back up above $26 at $26.02 an ounce. But I figured out how I'm going to balance that out. And that's going to be... Through my coin roll hunting anytime i can get those for 50 cents um that's going to lower my dollar cost average so i will get there all right for those of you that are new here thank you so much for stopping by i really hope you enjoy these these rounds and coins and please share them with the people you know that love black panther that love marvel share them with the people you know that love dragons they have an awesome rainbow uh metallic type of dragon um, the exact same round, but different toning to where it's almost like a rainbow. Uh, that one was definitely a little bit higher in price and I didn't like it enough to spend the difference, but I'm super impressed with the one I have. So, uh, please like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for sharing on this journey with me. We are on our way to 500 ounces and we'll be there in no time. So, uh, keep sticking around, keep stacking. I'm going to keep stacking. Doesn't matter what the price is. The only thing that changes is the amount I'm able to stack. So hope you'll do it with me. Hope something you saw here today inspires you to get something new or add something to your stack or start stacking. And if you're new here, please hang out, get involved, get to know everybody. Join us on a late night Madhouse live chat on my channel. I typically do them around 9.30 or 10 p.m. Central. And feel free to get involved in some conversation with me and the Madhouse crew. And don't don't worry about fitting in. And don't worry, you'll fit in just fine because we are all mad here.